Now that we're familiar with the dashboard, let's take a look at server settings. To navigate to server settings, click on the user icon on the top right-hand corner, then select server settings. In the settings tab and under gateway settings, you first have the option of naming the gateway. It can be easily named and renamed to provide an easy way to discern between multiple gateways. Here you'll also see a toggle to allow new synchronizations. This option is to allow new touch panels and BYOD control panels to sync with the system. By default, it's toggled in the on position. Once your system is complete, you can turn synchronizations off to avoid using more of your limited BYOD device licenses. Under activation settings, you'll see the gateway's activation status, and at this point you should see that the gateway is activated. If you haven't saved the gateway ID or gateway serial number already, please do so now. You may need this information if you're ever locked out of your gateway. Finally, in the time settings section, it's important to set up the time zone, date, and time to properly record to the system logs, the file system, any room locks, and any scheduled events. Now let's take a look at the database settings.